Since you're watching this video, I'm sure you're asking yourself, how much exactly does it cost to build a website? And sadly, there's no real easy way to answer that question. So today we're gonna break down all the costs associated with building a website and different ways that you can go about building the website yourself as well. Hopefully this cost breakdown and information will help guide you when you're making the right decision for your website investment. Now, the cost for building a website has a lot of different factors involved with it, and this can make it difficult to determine a set price. If we take a look at this chart, we can see a couple key factors that affect your website cost. First, you have domain name registration, which can range from 10 to $25 a month. You have website hosting, which can range anywhere from five to $500 a month. Then depending on your website builder or platform, this can be anywhere from 10 to $200 per month. Your content management system could range anywhere from free to $500. If you're running an e-commerce platform, this could range anywhere from zero to $200. Then for your website theme and design, this could go anywhere from free to $300 a year. Any website add-ons or plugins that you need could be anywhere from zero to $300 a year. Site security can range anywhere from zero to $249 a year. Then you have an SSL certificate, also could be free or up to $249 per year. Ongoing website maintenance, this could be anywhere from $100 to $450 a month. And then if you need custom web design or development, well, this could be anywhere from $1,000 to $10,000 plus. Now, of course, depending on the type of website that you're building, each of these factors could be changed a little bit, but those are just some basic general costs to help you out. Another big factor in the pricing for your website is going to be which platform you use to build your site upon. Right now, there are three very popular ways to build a website. The first one will be using WordPress. The second one is gonna be using a website builder. And the third one is gonna be hiring a professional web developer. If you decide to go with WordPress, the typical cost can range from anywhere from zero to $1,000 per year. Considering most websites are built on WordPress, using it has proven to be one of the best DIY approaches to building a website. With WordPress, it's possible to have the most flexibility when building your website, and as such, you'll have more control over how much you need to spend. The software itself is free, so the real cost will be determined by how much you wanna pay for hosting, themes, plugins, and other features. Another very popular way to build a website is by using a website builder platform, and the typical cost of this can range from 10 to $200 a month. Building a website with a website builder is an excellent way to offset some of the heavy lifting of building your website while quickly taking control of the design, layout, and functionality. A website builder is an online platform that gives you everything you need to build a website. Some of these popular builders include Squarespace, Wix, and Weebly. And then the third popular way to build a site is going to be by hiring a professional web designer or agency. And the typical cost from this can be anywhere from $500 upwards to $50,000 and more. Building your website with a professional can cost you thousands of dollars, but with this comes peace of mind knowing that the experts are doing their job. You can find cost-effective web designers on platforms like Upwork and Fiverr. So now that you can kind of expect what to pay for each of these different ways to build a website, I'll break down where these costs come from. If you're looking to build a website with WordPress, the first thing you're going to need to pay for is a domain name. And this can range anywhere from $10 to $25 per year. Your domain name is the address where your customers can find your website. And no matter the type of website you're building, you'll need to register a domain name. When choosing your domain name, it's best practice to reflect your business, be unique, and be easy to remember. Something to keep in mind though, is that most web hosts do offer you a free domain at the start of your term, but domains themselves are pretty inexpensive as a whole. For instance, Namecheap provides .com domains for as little as $6, but on average, expect to pay from $10 per year for your domain. Your next cost that you're gonna look into is your hosting cost. And this typically can range from $2 to $500 a year. Web hosting is the service that holds your website's files. Different types of hosting can provide an array of features and benefits, depending on the type of website you're looking to build. Now, there are a lot of different types of website hosting, and thankfully for you, I've already done a video guide showing you all the different types of hosting and pros and cons associated with those. I'll leave a link down in the video description for you to check it out, and there'll also be a link that you can click at the top of the screen if you wanna go into that video. Now, the next cost associated with your WordPress site is gonna be your WordPress theme, and these can range anywhere from free upwards to $300 per year. To make your website beautiful, you'll need a theme. WordPress lets you download thousands of themes directly from the WordPress theme repository. As you purchase your themes, you'll also need to consider the price of customizing them before purchasing them. Some, like Divi, can be edited easily through a visual interface, while others may require you to learn how to code or hire a designer to assist you in making your changes. Similar to your hosting options, there are so many options out there for your themes. And again, thankfully for you, I've done some videos on the best type of themes out there. I'll leave a link in the video description for you to check that out. And there'll be a link floating somewhere up there if you wanna click that to look at some of the best themes available. Now, another associated fee with WordPress is gonna be your plugins. And these can range anywhere from free to $200 a year plus, depending on what you need. Now, while a simple website will do well with a basic setup, an e-commerce website will need some more bells and whistles to keep customers and increase sales. 
there are a lot of different categories of plugins that you can consider when you're building your website. These can include things such as backup plugins, security plugins, performance plugins, SEO plugins, social sharing plugins, contact form plugins, and e-commerce plugins. And as you can see from this chart here, the price ranges can vary dramatically based on your needs for your personal site. Now, another thing that you're gonna to wanna to look into with your WordPress site is SSL and security costs. And these typically can range anywhere from $10 upwards to $249 plus per month. Security for a website can come in a variety of forms. Who you choose to be your website host is one area often overlooked regarding your website security. SSL certificates, firewalls, server hardenings, and monitoring services are all things that can be looked into when counting the cost for building a website. However, these are necessary things needed to protect your website. And last but not least, something to think about is maintenance cost. And typical website maintenance can range from anywhere from free to $450 plus per year. When building a website, just like a car, it does need a tune up here and there. An excellent place to start is by checking out our list of the best website backup plugins, as backups are a very important maintenance task. Other maintenance tasks include updating plugins, adding new content, and more. You'll need to keep your plugins and themes up to date and secure by renewing your license yearly. So those are some of the costs you can expect to look into when you're building a website on WordPress. Now let's look into some of the costs associated with using a website builder. So using a website builder typically is gonna range anywhere from $0 up to $200 per month. When you're building a website with a website builder, you have a good mix of features and cost savings. Many tools and features you'll need to build your website with a builder are already included. Some like Wix allow you to use artificial intelligence to build your site. Website builders are primarily web-based and use some form of visual builder. This eliminates the need for coding and lowers your worries about security and maintenance as your recurring payment covers these. On average, website builders have an entry level option ranging somewhere from $7 to $99 a month. However, they may have enterprise level pricing, which can easily jump to over $2,000 per month. The cost for website builders can escalate quickly though when it comes to adding features. While many tools already come with your website builder, for complex tasks, you'll need to invest in add-ons that are on the more expensive side. Here you can see some of the most popular website builders out there with some cost breakdowns on each. These are gonna come in the form of Wix, Weebly, Shopify, Squarespace, and GoDaddy. And you can see the differences between their cheapest plans, their e-commerce plans, and their most expensive plans. For instance, Wix's cheapest plan is $15 per month, and their most expensive plans go all the way up to $149 per month. When you're looking at website builders, you'll make sure you wanna research them and see which features you need so you can get the best bang for your buck when it comes to building your specific website. And finally, the last way that you can go about building a website is to hire someone else to do it for you. And these costs can really vary drastically depending on the agency or web designer you choose. A typical web designer's cost can range anywhere from 50 to $100 per hour, and a typical web design agency can cost somewhere between $500 and $50,000 for a one-time fee. Now with this does come the ease and peace of mind though of someone else doing all the work for you. And for a lot of people, there's no way to put a price on that. Here you can see a little chart we put together to kind of show you what you can expect to pay for a web designer or web design agency, depending on which type of website you need, whether it be a simple informational website, a small business website, or an e-commerce website, the prices can really vary. Now I know that is a lot of information to digest and we covered a lot. So to make it easy for you, there is a blog article down in the video description below. If you check that out, you can follow through everything that I talked about. There's a lot more information as well that goes more into depth on all these different ways to build a website and some cost breakdowns. And you can see all the charts that I referenced. Hopefully this video helped demystify the costs associated with a website. Before you go though, make sure you check out some of our other content and I'll see you in the next one.